Okay, this next process, since I've painted um, the head or the face um, with the base white, I'm going to go ahead and use skin tones on this. But prior to that, since the eyes are already white, I'm going to mask off the eyes so that you know I don't have to paint the whites of the eyes. Now, to mask that off, I'm going to use this mounting putty that I have here. And this is basically your uh, sticky tack or whatnot. And all you have to do is kind of knead it, knead it a little bit. And this will get it warmed up and soft. And once you get it soft enough, it will become kind of tacky. And I could use this to mask off the eyes. This stuff is also pretty good for masking um, complex curves, creating a very, very organic uh, masking schemes. I use very little of this. Because his eyes were kind of small. Yeah, smaller than that. So about, whoops, it's about this size here. It's going to stick it on, on the eye. And what I'm going to use is my uh, bamboo skewer. And I moistened the tip a little so that it's not sticking to the surface of the molding putty. And this uses to push the masking or the sticky tack into place. And this stuff is fairly easily removed after painting. I want to move this around so I get all all the little corners. And there, I have one of the eyes masked off. Now that the um, skin tone has been painted on the face, I could go ahead and remove this uh, sticky tap mask over the eyes. Just gonna carefully push around on uh, the masking, and then lift it up. What's nice is um, the sticky tack sticks very well to itself. So if I need to remove more or if there's any residue left, just warm that up a little bit and press that into the where the sticky tack still is uh, attached to the part and peel that off. And you can see that it's a fairly clean mask job. But the sticky tack still on the little eye. And peel that right off. 
and now the eyes are ready for painting. What I'm going to do now is uh, draw in the eyes. Now um, I'm not very good at this, but th this is one of those things that most folks are pretty apprehensive about, and it's understandable because when you look at a figure kit, the first thing, well, second thing most people look at are the eyes. So what I have is a 0.3 millimeter pencil, mechanical pencil. And I'm just going to use this and draw the eyes in. First, uh, what's great about this is if I make any mistakes, I can always erase it. Like if I draw outside the line a little bit, I'll take my cut off a clean piece of eraser first. piece of the eraser and any mistakes I do I could just erase it from the skin or from the part so I usually use a little bit of a reference a picture that I'm actually looking at to draw this draw the eyes in And if I'm not satisfied with something, I could just go back here and erase and start over. And since I'm, you know, using the pencil, I could draw this any number of times. It's also a good trick to do is um, draw on different angles. Granted, right, it looks kind of creepy now, but uh, once you once it looks like um, she's not cross-eyed or you know, staring in you know, googly eyes, I can move on to the next step. Now this next step requires the use of, well, I use a repeatograph pen. Basically, it's a um, the pen that we add India ink to. So this is going to get a little messy because I need to add ink to my pen. Think of this as your old school fountain pens. As we see, it's going to leak all over the place. But what's nice about this this pen is that he draws some very, very fine lines. And this is great for inking in the eyes. So, this is my pen. And I'm ready to ink in some eyes. Okay. With my pen ready, inked up, and my eyes kind of drawn in I could go in uh, and draw my eyes in now again um, it's good to use a reference so that when you're drawing this you know, something to look at and make a comparison
Whoops. Uh, that's not too big of a deal. Now what I can do is, I just took some enamel based thinner um, and a paper towel and if I mess it up I could lightly clean it up without messing the underlying paint layer because it's a different paint type. Okay, with this, with my eye sort of drawn, I could go in and start painting in the eye color. So she's got kind of a turquoise sort of eye color, so I'm going to go ahead and try to replicate that. What I'm using here is enamel paints. And again, similar to why I use the India ink and the pencil. If I make a mistake, I can always go in and erase it. So I go ahead and <clears throat> grab some paint out of here. Now I'm going to first mix my going to first mix the turquoise, the darker color first. Just using a very light blue and, and a green color. And mix this up. I do want the green to overpower the blue slightly, so we do have a turquoise color here.
to this, I'm going to add a bit of white so I can get a light shade of the turquoise color. Not to be too clumsy. Now the way I have this set up, I have my dark color, my light color, and my highlight white there. And so long as I don't mix these two together too much, I could, uh, I'll be fine. Now as long as I don't mix these three together, I'll be fine. So I'll just take a very, very fine brush and I'm gonna apply my the the light green color first Now if it gets a little too thick, I can add some thinner to that and thin that out a little bit. I want this to be thin enough that we can start painting, you know, uh, a fairly light. I want this to be thin enough so that uh, I don't get too many brush strokes when I'm painting this on. So I have the bottom part, part of, you know, or the light part of the eye painted. It's been about an hour, or actually two hours since I painted this piece. So now that um, those are dry, I can go ahead and remix the dark green I was going to use for the main part of her eye. Now that I have my turquoise, thin my brush a little bit. That swath feels good. I'm going to go ahead and paint the center areas.
and then now we'll wait another little while for this to dry and then I can add apply the reflective uh, white dots to their eyes This is dried for about uh, almost pretty much a full day. So what I'm going to do now is apply the the little reflective white dots to her eyes. So it has self level to a to an extent. I still see a small amount of brush strokes, but that's not too big of a deal. So, applied a little thinner to this. And test out my brush to make sure I get the uh, paint. Now I'm just gonna start applying the, her little reflective dots. Okay, and that's the reflective pieces done on her eyes. And this is dried for another day, so right now I'm going to draw in some eyebrows for her. And I'm just using my pencil. So that if I do make a mistake, I can always erase this. That looks not too bad. <clears throat> now to do the other side. And the beauty of doing this with the pencil is I could always go in and erase if it doesn't look good. So now that I have my uh, paint mixed up. I could go ahead and just follow these lines and paint in her eyebrows. And again, if I screw up, I can always take the I can always take some some of the thinner and just clean it up. <clears throat> 